As I recall, I've had the Lampart HHG01 gimbal since the GoPro 3. And of course, since then we've had the 4, the 5, the 6 and the 7. And the 6 and the 7 are considerably different. They, they kind of look different. They've got different parts. And, they don't, and they're heavier, actually. And they don't fit the HHG01. So I thought I'd set about using a 3D printer to create the right parts to match the um, GoPro 7, the Hero 7, with the HHG1. And while I was at it, I thought I'd make life easier for myself because these days the GoPros are getting so good you could use them for commercial stuff. I mean, in fact, it's interesting to see how the footage blends against the Ursa footage as well. So, anyway, I thought I'd go one step further and make a mount for my mobile phone so I can see the framing because I think framing is one of the issues when you're using the GoPros. And the other thing I thought I'd do is make the same thing for a pole as well because I think when you use a pole with the heroes and the gimbals you tend to move the camera much slower and that gives you a more cinematic effect. So I printed the components, sawed up a piece of aluminium, a couple of pieces of aluminium and got a couple of poles. I'm using the um, the road Fisk pole, the, the Fisk pole, and I'm using a Yankum bank pole that I bought from a local fishing shop. So here you are, here's the construction and here's some results. Okay, so Andy, what I'm doing in the garden today is starting to get the soil ready. So what we're going to be doing with these onions, I'm very much hoping that we're going to have onions from our own garden and we want these onions to be ready for Christmas dinner. So I'm just getting rid of any chance of small seeds, uh, small weeds rather, that have seeded. No competition for nutrients and we'll put a mulch down there later on and hopefully we'll be using our own onions in the bread sauce on Christmas dinner. 